Nothing wrong with it. This is the reality of being a personal chef. It's Let me see. really, really tight. I normally don't like meat, but I'm starting to think maybe I just haven't had good food. This is so good. Your yeah. way is better. Wow, you heard it here first, guys. In this video, I'll be testing out a private chef at home service experience. I didn't even know this was a thing, but apparently there's this website called whyhangry.com, which by the way, great name, clearly reaches target demographic because I feel like at the end of every night, I'm like, hangry. When you think of things like a chef, you associate with a restaurant. You don't think your home. So I kind of want to test this website and try it out for myself and see what that experience is like. What is the process? How do you hire a chef and what kind of chef do you get? I'm intrigued and I really want to test this out and just see what it's like. On first impression, it gives me the same vibe as Deliveroo or Uber Eats. And there's so many different cuisine options. Oh my God, they have a lot of options, guys. This is crazy. There's a Christmas option. So if you just want to have Christmas food cooked for you at any time of the year, there's an option for that. Maybe I do meal prep. I think that's the one I need. As in, I'm not a meal prep kind of person, but I need that in my life. Pan-Asian experience does look good. It looks so fancy as well. Two Michelin star. There's a Michelin star. Oh wow, these private chefs are like professional, professional. Okay, I just came across this one. He has worked in two AA gastro pubs. I don't know what that means, but I'm assuming it's something impressive. And Michelin starred restaurants where he gained the fine dining experience. We're getting bougie here. We're getting very, very bougie. This could be one of the contenders. Oh my God. This guy is the Marriott head chef. And like he comes to my home. How many people can say they had Marriott's head chef cook for them in their home? There's so many options. How do you pick one? After hours of searching, I finally found my chef, Boad. He had a Michelin star, a Rosette star, was on MasterChef, and wasn't too crazy priced. His food looks incredible. So I hopped on a call to see how it works. I decided on a three course meal cooked at home, and then Fouad would also cook me meal prep for the week, fine dining style. Sorted. Until the night before Fouad was supposed to arrive. It is currently midnight. Love that for me. And I am incredibly unprepared. I have a private chef, a Michelin star rated chef coming to my kitchen to cook tomorrow. I also don't have a wicking oven. I mean, we might as well just cancel this video right now, right? I'm a hopeless case, I know. This is my oven, right? It's giving nothing. I've had issues with this oven before. I thought I fixed it, but clearly it hasn't been fixed. And I love that this happened literally days before I have a chef come into my kitchen. I do have an air fryer but I feel like a private chef isn't gonna wanna cook in an air fryer. I am starting to realize just how unprepared my kitchen is. I've literally had to go out and buy more pots and pans just so he has enough equipment to cook with. I've gone out and bought somewhat nice plates. This kitchen, it's all show, baby. You look in the cupboards, no pots and pans. You look at the oven, doesn't work. You look at me, hot mess. So hoping an air fryer was good enough for a Michelin star chef to cook in, I met with Fawad to do the food shopping, ready to cook my meals. Not doing food shopping. He didn't even bring a list. He just had it all in his head, which was a bit like magic to me. I find it crazy that you're not using a shopping list. Uh, yeah, that's kind of crazy to me because I can't do anything without well, I just would forget stuff. Did you write your bio on Why Hangry? I did some of it. You have six sisters or something like that. We got five sisters. Oh, five sisters, sorry. Five brothers. Oh I'm my me. god. Me, I'm the, the, the fifth, so we can play football. We got so five aside. Five aside. <laughs> Mum and dad, lucky like 12, isn't it? Oh my god. It was so interesting seeing what professional chef would buy compared to me. His shop was a lot healthier. He comes here, what do you have? Okay, don't have any. I have like a big, two of these, two, two of these. I, I bought them. <laughs> and yes. How many you have? Two or three. Oh, that's good. Got loads of plates. I bought them. <laughs> Specifically for this video. I think we're done. And we're done. It was time to head home and tell him the news. So, I have a slight confession. <laughs> yeah, where is it? <laughs> um, I didn't know this. My oven doesn't work. Oh, your oven doesn't work? <laughs> yeah, that's another one of those things that's broken in this Why does it work though? I don't know, it stopped working. I could turn the switch fuse, so I turn the electric thing off. I can turn it on and we yes, can see please, the whip. Yes, yeah. Okay, okay. If you need help,
No, it didn't work. It didn't work. I love that you just come into like it and now you're trying to make it all. It doesn't work. Oh, is it working? It is working. No way. We have a working oven. Yes, we do. Do we actually? Yes. Wait, what was wrong with it then? I don't understand. Just a chef touch and <laughs> he goes back to normal. And you also have the air fryer. Yeah. But... Do you use an air fryer? I never used it in my cooking, but... Did she just ask a Michelin star chef if he uses an air fryer? Shake my head. Imagine Don't... making a beef wellington in this. Oh! Yeah, I know. That would have been the option. <laughs> yes, it would be, but... Which nicely leads us to the three-course meal. Today, the chef will be cooking salmon terrine, beef wellington and cinnamon tart with chocolate mousse and pistachio ice cream. Whoa, OK. So that's my uh, spice kit. Very proud of your spice kit. Oh, very proud. Yeah. Wherever I go, this box is with me. So. OK, got you. Are these the things you usually carry with you? Yeah. Simple knives, not very expensive. They're all right. You what do you think good, of my knives? you got good knives. As soon as I've seen them, I, I, did, I did comment. I said they're good knives, so... OK. Ooh, I got the chef approval. Yeah, they're good. You need to use them more often. <laughs> OK. <laughs> First impressions of my kitchen. Nice. Um, I like the size. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, It'll do. You've got everything that you need to get the job done. So OK. You've oh. got potato mash out, which is good, <gasps> because we need mashed potatoes for today. You can see a bit of chilli, a bit of tortillas, a bit of spice. Yeah. There's Madrum. More... What's that? Oh. How did you get to Madrum? I don't know. You need to be a chef to be eating that. Really? Yes. So that is going to be my chef, my personal chef for the whole week. He's going to cook all my meals for the next week. We have meal prep. We're cooking a few to meal prep for the couple of days and then the rest of the yeah. week. We're going to change roles a bit because you're going to show me how to cook, do stuff, right? Yeah. And you can vlog me. So you're going to be in YouTuber mode, I'm going to be cooking mode, just for this little bit. OK, yeah, of course. Yeah. OK. You're so... going to be peeling potatoes, though. <laughs> OK. Hi, okay. everyone there. So, uh, yeah. So tell me what I'm going to be I'm doing. I'm going to see the skill how she peels potatoes. Yeah. Okay. Would oh. you prefer a knife or you prefer a peeler? A peeler? Mm -hmm. Can you show me peeling with see? a peeler? <laughs> So you just hold it like that. It's so funny watching you do it. Okay. Let's go, yeah. But you know with this one, you can go both ways. Isn't that cool? Did you know that? You did. No, I didn't. Oh, really? No, I, I, so you're learning from me now. And that was kind of quick. So now we're doing it with a knife. Surely that takes longer, though. My one's better, isn't it? No, wow! no, I'm saying that. Like, Am I showing up the chef right now? I, I, said, I said from the beginning, the wastage will be, yeah. will be high, so... But which one do you prefer doing? I, 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 you, do, you don't want to say my one. Look at that, eh? <laughs> Learning something new. I can't believe I'm teaching you that. That's wild. Your yeah. way is better. <gasps> wow. You heard it here first, guys. So Fouad started out with a salmon terrine laying down two pieces of salmon and adding in the avocado and prawn filling and wrapping it up. He was so fast, it was hard to keep up and film everything. And the presentation was immaculate. This is the starter, which is... Salmon terrine. I twisted it with some prawns and a bit of spices in there and I did it like a little salmon roll out. It's what I have on an every Monday, you know what I mean? This is just what I spruce up whenever I've got a bit of time. Okay, let's try it. Oh my god, you're a genius. You know, I didn't want to say this because I was nervous. I don't normally like smoked salmon because I don't like the texture. It's this been, is so good. It's been hidden away. This a is bit. so good. I think what this video showed me is that um, a lot of these things I'd be so intimidated to try because I would think I wouldn't like it. But oh my god, this is so good. I don't even know how to describe all the flavors, but it all works really well together. I love it. Smash it. Oh, I'll do it with a 10 nice. out of 10. Now on to the beef wellington, which was eventful. Fouad started off trimming the fat off the beef and making the stock. He even used garlic skin. He then seared the beef so it would just cook on the outside and the rest would cook in the oven. Next was a savoury pancake to wrap the beef in and my milk had uh, seen better days. What was the date? Oh, uh, well, it's 14th of June. 7th of June. <laughs> But just a little tip, don't use any of my ingredients because it could be out of date. <laughs> because I want to show... Oh, oh. So week gone. Nothing wrong with it. How did you get into cooking and why did you decide to become a chef? My dad used to be like a builder. Mm. I always liked what he was doing. I learned a little bit when I was young with him, when I go with him to help him out or I'm with him oh, for the okay. day. It was too much hard work. And I started cooking for myself when I was like seven, eight. And what were your siblings? <laughs> No, no, for me. Like, just you, yeah. just you. If I want like something different, I would go in the kitchen and start cooking. Or my mum, she having a nap or something. Oh. I would sneak in the kitchen and start cooking something. What, eight? Eight? 
seven, eight, yeah. As a child. Yeah, I know. Huh? Then the chaotic vibes continued because Fuwa thought I didn't have any mixing bowls, so he just used a glass dish. What is happening in the sink? <laughs> Trust me, it works. Most chefs are not going to blend me like that, but okay. this works. But to be fair to him, it did work just the same. And eventually, it was time to wrap up the beef. Put it in the oven, and then Fawad whipped up a very quick mash. And it was time to serve. Look at how beautiful that Wellington looks. Now it's the main, which looks absolutely stunning. You did. Come on, it's beautiful. Uh, Perfect. Medium, medium rare. That's what my, I like my meat. And you guessed it? Yeah, I guessed it. I put it in the oven and uh, after what, 20 minutes, I thought that Wellington is around medium rare. Just your brain, you just got, yeah. you, it was calling. Beautiful, beautiful. Would color. you say it's almost perfect? I think it's perfect. What? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not, again, first one was I'm not a fish person. Like I said, oh. Sorry. So kick it off in the kitchen. You're the best. You're absolutely the best. This is amazing. Oh, yeah, it's so soft and it's so... It's very tender, isn't it? Usually I don't like meat because it's so chewy. That's why fillet is like... The, yeah. <laughs> oh my god! You know when people say meat just melts in your mouth? I now understand what people are saying. This is so good. Again, I normally don't like meat, but I'm starting to think maybe I just haven't had good food. <laughs> it's just so... It's so beautiful. It tastes so good. It's another 10 out of 10. Uh, Smash it. 10 out of 10. 10, 10 out of 10. 10. Even you'd give it a 10 out of 10, right? Because it's beautiful. So. Now it's time for dessert. Chocolate mousse, pistachio ice cream, fruit compote, all on top of a cinnamon tart. I can't wait to try this one. There's a lot going on with this dessert. So many different flavours. 3, 2, 1. Oh my god. I don't know how he does it. Guys, I have never had food this good before. Like the flavours, they all hit. Nothing is like bland. Every piece of it is like so good. I love the sauce. It's quite tangy. And it works so well because everything else is like sweet. Oh my god. This is so good. It's another 10 out of 10. Oh, thank you. Best dessert I've ever had. Genuinely. But we aren't done here. Fouad hasn't only just been cooking me a three-course meal today. He's also been cooking me meal prep as well. I can barely cook one meal at a time. I'm not sure how he's cooking like eight in one go. It's incredibly impressive. Now I'm making, you know, the food that for the following few days, yeah. which is that, uh, what do we call Wait, it? I'll come in here because you're looking at me so hard. Meal prep. Meal prep. <laughs> but the thing is, you're so used to cooking from scratch. You're yes. like, what is that weird? What do people call it? Meal, meal, prep? meal prep? What is that? Yes. What is meal prep? Nice, I'm excited about this. I love cauliflower. Do we, we don't want this food, right? Now that we want it. Oh, we want it? Yeah, that's oh, okay. why I kept it in. Okay. I think Taz should be leaving the cooking to the Michelin star chef shake my head. This is the reality of being a personal chef. It's Let me really, see. really tight. Okay. Like. Have we clogged up my sink? Okay. Oh! <laughs> I love how when it opened, we were like, oh! Fawad finished up with the cleaning, which is part of the service. I'm not gonna lie, it felt really strange having someone else clean my kitchen. But after that, we were done with the meal prep. After trying the three-course meal... Oh my god. I cannot wait to try the meal prep. It is Tuesday, which means it is the first day of the meal prep. So for breakfast... <gasps> ooh, I am having pancakes. I only recently discovered this when I filmed the Google video. I tried compote for the first time, and I blimmin' love it. This is another container have in my fridge. So I've got like two loads. I might freeze this one so I can have it later in the week. Oh, okay, I don't want to spill it. How do I put it in? Okay, okay, there we go. I heated up the pancake in a pan and the fruit compote in a big pot. Ah, uh, it's gonna burn it. We don't want to burn it. She doesn't even have to cook the food and she is still struggling. This might be a new low. Meal prep day one, breakfast is pancakes, fruit, compote and yogurt. Let's try it. Oh my god. That sauce is so tangy. This is really nice. This is really, really nice. The pancake is sweet, but it's not too sweet. And it's really nice. But the sauce, the compote, is like so tangy. But like good tangy. Oh my god, it just works really well. It balances it out. This feels like a luxury to have this for breakfast. I feel like I'm eating dessert for breakfast. So good. We're off to a great start. I cannot wait for dinner now. Now for dinner. Whoa, okay, it looks good. I am having this mushroom pasta sauce with tagliatelle. So that's gonna be my dinner. I think I'm gonna freeze these two so that I can have it later in the week. 
And this is going to be my side. It's a salad with halloumi and sweet potato and peppers. All I had to do was cook the tagliatelle, reheat the mushroom sauce, plate it up, and then I put the salad in a side bowl and dinner was served. I have so much left over of this, so I think I might be having this for dinner as well because he gives generous portions, so we love that. <laughs> and I'm very hit and miss with mushroom, but I do trust the chef and everything he's made so far has been exquisite. I'm excited to try this. Holy smokes! I genuinely don't know how he does it. I'm gonna be so sad when I have to go back to my own cooking. That chicken is so tender. It almost like melts in your mouth. Okay, that has been Tuesday. Tuesday has been a massive success. Very, very happy. Let's see what I'm having on Wednesday. Mm. It is Wednesday. And today's meal prep, I can hands down say I've never had anything like this for breakfast. Got boiled egg with, I think it's like kale, spinach, avocado, tomatoes, and pistachio. Ah, proper healthy in that, innit? Mmm. This guy is insane. How did he manage to make spinach and kale taste so good? Wow, that's actually really nice. Got some egg. Pearl is really good. He knows his flavours. It's almost like he's a chef and he knows what he's doing. I do think I might prefer this breakfast compared to yesterday's. That's surprising, but a good surprise, so we love that. It is dinner time, and for dinner today, I am having sticky rice, which looks incredible. Oh my God, this makes me so excited. Salmon and some incredible sauce. I feel like just smelling it has woken up all my taste buds. So, so freaking excited. So I very quickly heated it up, and it was incredible, guys. It was really sweet, but also had a good amount of spice to it to balance it out, really, really, Really flavorful. And for the rest of the week, it was heaven. More tasty breakfast, crispy cauliflower, and chocolate mousse. This thing was so rich and chocolatey and just like incredible. I had so much food that some of it had to be frozen and reheated. Oh, this is really hot. I'm excited. I never thought I'd be excited to eat red meat, but I really liked the beef wellington that he made. That meat is so well cooked. It's cooked to perfection. Oh my God, that is so rich in flavor. That's insane. You know what, I think this one might be my favorite one so far, which is crazy, because I'm not even a meat person. I never eat. And Jay also came over to help me with a few meals, because it was just so much food. And it was just so good, I had to share. And before I knew it, Ford was back with my final meals. Hi everyone, today is like uh, our final delivery day. We got uh, chicken burritos. <gasps> And then we got a uh, roasted cauliflower and tomato salsa, slow cooked lamb with uh, roasted cashew nuts. Then I made one like little special one which is potatoes and aubergine curry. We got jira rice which is cumin, I put some coriander in there. And then I have cucumber and mint salad, more tomato salsa to go with nachos. We got red onion and cherry tomato salad and fresh crushed avocado which guacamole, naan bread to go with the curries. One thing that was great about this week's meal prep was the variety in cuisines Phil had provided. I tried top quality Mexican, Indian, Italian, British food, which was a real treat. Today was lamb curry and it was incredible. Today we have a Mexican cuisine. It's hot. It is the final day, which is so sad. I'm gonna miss this week. And I've got chicken burritos, cauliflower side dish, tomato salsa, cucumber with Mint. I have guac here with some tortilla chips. It's some of the best guac I've ever had in my life. I never even used to like avocado before, but now I blimmin' love it. I feel like he put something spicy in this though, because it's got a bit of a kick to it, which I blimmin' love. I'm a big fan of cauliflower, so that's really, really nice. We got some tomato salsa. Wow. Ooh. That's really good. Actually, this whole experience has been really surprising in a really positive way. This experience was like a hundred times better. I think my oven is still on. Two seconds. <laughs> I feel like this experience was like 10 times better than I could have even imagined. Like Chef Fouad is the loveliest human and he's been so kind and generous with his time and just with everything. He's been very, very accommodating. I feel like it's really good portion sizes. Like I think I had well over a week's worth of meals prepped for me. And I got to try different cuisines and he tailored it to everything that I wanted and he even hand delivered it. And I feel like I made a friend out of it too, which was like, how lovely is that? This wasn't part of the plan, but it ended up being a really wholesome, positive, lovely experience. And I got to try lots of different food that I wouldn't normally try. This whole week experience was like 475 pounds, which is a lot for a regular week of food. But when you think about it, considering I had like a private chef, could be fine dining, and a whole week's worth of food, and probably more than a week's worth of food. And I tried different cuisines, and it's like to a high level. And the amount of time that the chef put into it, I honestly don't think that's bad. 
Okay, I'm gonna try the burrito now. Oh, it's so soft. It's so cute. It's got rice and chicken in it. It's really soft and it's so cute. Overall, it's been a fantastic week. I would give this week a 10 out of 10. I feel like I've been saying 10 out of 10 a lot in this video, but it honestly has been an exceptional, phenomenal experience. I've been living love this week. It's been great. I feel like I've just been spoiled for a whole week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to see more content like this or see me trying something similar like this in a different context, let me know, because I'd love to do something like this again and see how it goes. But yeah, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you lots. Please know that matter, and I shall see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks for time for me to go. <laughs> like I died. Like I'm last week night with the flow here.